After Chandrayaan 3's insights on the water availability on the moon's south pole, new findings have now emerged from its far side, the mysterious dark region that always faces away from Earth. China's Chang'e 6 mission, the first to land on the remote region, has found that the far side of the moon may be drier than its near side counterpart. Now, this, uh, these findings published in the peer-reviewed journal Nature is based on the analysis conducted by scientists on the first ever samples from the lunar far side collected by this mission, which launched from China on 3rd May last year and returned to Earth on June 25th. Now, this 8200 kg spacecraft landed on June 1st. It used a scoop and a drill to collect lunar samples from the surface and from as deep as 2 meters below the surface and placed them on the ascent vehicle, which was mounted on top of the lander, which launched from the moon two days later. Now, this latest analysis done by a team from a Chinese Academy of Sciences, Beijing, reports how much water and what types of hydrogen were found in the mineral rocks and small trapped pockets of lava from the moon's mantle, the layer just beneath its crust. Their estimate showed that the water abundance for the mantle is about 1 to 1.5 micrograms per gram, which basically conveys that it's dry. Additionally, the difference in the distribution of water also shows a pattern where the water is more concentrated in one hemisphere of the moon. So why are these findings important? Now, the data helps enhance scientists' understanding of how much water is actually present on the moon's mantle, which will determine the course of future long-term exploration. Now, previous NASA missions, including Apollo, have returned samples from the near side. But the far side of the moon has remained mysterious, explored only through the satellite images captured from orbit. Recently, India's last mission, Chandrayaan-3, the first to land near the South Pole in August 2023, also provided insights into the water availability on the moon. Now, it revealed that the ice may be present a few centimetres below the moon's surface in more areas of the lunar polar regions than previously thought. India's first ever mission to the moon, Chandrayaan, in 2008, had also provided concrete evidence of water on the moon's near side. So water plays a central role in understanding the formation and the evolution of the moon, especially that giant hypothesis which proposes that the moon was formed from debris created by a massive collision between the Earth and a large celestial body. Now we all know that moon is a big space destination and a stepping stone for Mars. India has already announced a series of Chandrayaan missions to achieve the goal of Indian landing on the moon by the year 2040. The upcoming Chandrayaan-4 in 2027 will also attempt to land on the moon again, but this time to collect and return those samples to Earth. Chandrayaan-5 mission in association with Japan is also in the pipeline. And NASA's ambitious Artemis program also aims at sending astronauts on the moon with the eye on economic benefits and of course for building the foundation for the first crewed mission to Mars. China too has next Chang'e missions which aim to collect more samples from the far side of the moon and unravel the extremely varied distribution of water on the moon.